Bye bye, Lele. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Another day, another dollar. Got, just got called into casualty. So there's a patient who is bleeding and she happens to think that she's pregnant. So let me just quickly go to casualty because they called me like they called me an hour ago. Not an hour ago, like 30 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna go see what the matter is and I'm just gonna get there and scan her and after scanning so I wonder if she's actually a false positive or a false negative so apparently they say that she's saying that she had a, a test done um, at home which said that she was positive which was basically positive so I'll just basically get there and examine her and see um, and also scan uh, and I'm also gonna scan her Ooh. so I'm also gonna scan her to see if there's anything in her uterus and then after doing that, I will do her bloods. So to check her beta acid because that um, the blood pregnancy test is more accurate. Because sometimes um, you can get false positives and like uh, false negatives with the urine uh, pregnancy tests. Yeah? So that's what I'm gonna do. Wrong yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do that and then I'll talk to you guys after. So basically what I did is that I scanned her uterus was empty. I did not see anything outside um the outside the womb. She did not really have signs of an ectopic. The only thing she had was mild low abdominal pains. We're gonna wait for her pregnancy test to come back and then okay, we'll know whether or not. If preg test is positive, then she definitely is positive like elsewhere or it's pregnancy of unknown location because in this in her case she does not have any signs of an ectopic there was no um there was just mild low abdominal pain since she was not peritonitic um she did not have you know cervical excitation tenderness as well so it could be that it's maybe an ectopic that's chronic or um it could be that it's just you know she just had you know her menses are irregular and that's why she that's what happened so let's just have a look at different things that can cause or result in you having a false positive pregnancy test. Because it does happen with a lot of people. Even last week I saw a lady who had a positive pregnancy test at the clinic. And then when she got here, she had a negative pregnancy test even in the blood. So let's just have a look at, you know, different things that can result in you having a positive pregnancy test without you being pregnant. So number one, it could be that the pregnancy test that they used had expired so you know those are just the technical issues that the pregnancy test had expired so obviously now it's unreliable basically a pregnancy test is designed to pick up a hormone that is released in early pregnancy and that hormone is beta hcg so that no that hormone doubles until it reaches its peak at 10 weeks and if you a person who maybe got a miscarriage, that hormone is picked up up until six weeks post, you know, miscarriage. So it the hormone can re remain in your system for up to six weeks after you've had the miscarriage. So, yeah. So urine pregnancy tests pick that up. Also blood in the blood, that's what they test for. And the levels of these hormones sort of predict and will tell us how far along you are in the pregnancy. So... I did say that the one thing that can result in you having a false um, positive pregnancy test is if maybe there's technical issues like an expired pregnancy test um, and etc. It's things like, you know, medication, some meds, some antipsychotics, some antihistamines like promethazine. There's so many medications that can result in a false positive pregnancy test. The other thing that can result in a false positive pregnancy test is um, some, you know, 
conditions medical conditions so if you have a uti you can have a false positive i think that can result in a false positive pregnancy test is if you've had a miscarriage let's say because some people can fall pregnant um, and then have a miscarriage early but then a complete miscarriage so you find that the person you know you had their period in july and then in august um the period becomes you know heavier than normal with a bit of clots but it's not enough for the patient to actually think oh let me go to the hospital and then they don't go to a hospital and end up having like a proper like complete complete miscarriage so with those patients um up to six weeks the the pregnancy test can can be positive so those are the things i can remember so long i'll just I'll write down some of the stuff. So basically the pregnancy test is gonna guide us um, which way we will go. So yeah, let me go, let me go home, I'll wait for the test and then I'll come back and let her know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sit on, sit on, I'm also on call. <laughs> I'm literally still on call. But yesterday I got a package from Cotton On because I ordered a couple of stuff from cotton on so i'm just gonna be doing a bit of a me try on haul cotton on edition <laughs> i think i ordered like three things i don't i don't remember what i ordered but let's find out here's the box i'm so lazy to go get the let's get it. One second. Got a knife. I'm guessing this is the So I ordered three items. Um, an ultra, ultra high, ultra high waist pants times two front tank top and a satin, two satin pillowcases. Yeah. So, um, and I'm guessing you guys already know the benefits of having satin pillowcases over having, um, cotton pillowcases. These are the satin pillowcases. Just hope they fit properly. I can't wait. Like having satin pillowcases is good because like cotton creates e like friction especially if you have for for your hair as well as your skin because it's not breathable so it's better to have certain pillowcases over having um what's it, cotton or any other material so, yeah oh, it's one of those magnet boxes that's professional what are these things for like no, like, does anyone know? Like, what are these things for? You find them in shoes, this silica material things. How is it proper, guys? Is it proper? No, they're good. What size is 38? My normal size is 36, but I, I'm on a weight loss journey. <laughs> so I know I'm going to have them tailored down. I wanted like a biggish size or a size that will fit me now. Oh, they might just fit me. They might just fit me. Yeah, they might just fit me. Hmm. I took one in black and I also took another another one in something blue yes in blue yes so this blue basically the more jigging type but they're slightly thicker than jeggings somewhere in between a jean and a jegging i don't know what they call that but let's see they has they meant to be high waist they meant to be high waist they look like they're super high waist and they're ultra straight so i went on the website and read the reviews and some people were on some like buy one size down because it'll end up big anyways but i wasn't gonna take that risk k okay? like i was just like i'm gonna stick to a size 38 i'll see if it doesn't fit me it doesn't i'll just have it tailor made at least so i'd rather have it big than small so i just stayed true to size 
and i'll try it on now now fourth item i got is this top i think it's from it's from factory it's from factory it's like a crop top tank top it's ruched in front i found it to be uh proper super cute i think it was a hundred and Upper, the normal price is 169 I think I bought it for 129 Mr. Sailing, it looks, it looks like it's going to be big. I don't have boots to fit this much material. I took a size medium. I think I should have taken a small. It's a little, it's a little too big, man. If you're a girl with like big boobs, I don't know it also doesn't offer that much support but support is not the point it's so good it's like i'm not even wearing pants and they're not like tight or anything and they don't give me you know when you're a girl ne? and the waist the waist um yeah the waist to hip ratio is a bit much sometimes you get that problem where you can literally fit in it like a two liter bottle on your waist and i don't get that with this i like the fact that it's like super high waist like you can wear a crop top without like feeling like you're doing too much and i think it's a good thing i took a 38 once i lose weight i'll just go have it like altered no look at that like it fits so perfectly and you know some high-waisted pants will like flatten your tummy and also they'll flatten your butt which is awful like no one wants that or not even flatten it they'll sort of like elongate for some odd reason they just tend to flatten your tummy and also elongate your body but this one doesn't flatten out the butt like you won't even have to worry about that so basically pockets placement and length matters because pockets that are too big or um, that are too wide they can make your butt look small and elongated and you don't want that the yolk of the jean also matters because you want the yolk to be either upward, V-shaped or deep yolk because that assists in giving you um, a nice curvy or curved out butt and shape. So the jean that I got is a soft V-shape and it's the most flattering and um, it sort of gives the illusion of a smaller waist because it comes in by the just up of your bum. So it's the one to have. Your man, they fit me like a glove. It also cinches and sort of sucks everything in. So yeah, oh my god, this is a very good purchase. Both these pants were like 250 And the jean versions of these pants, I bought a couple of years ago. And the jeans last, like, I think I bought them for $5.99. Um, they're also really good. So yeah, uh -uh, no, I, I got my money's worth. 250 for these. I mean, these would work perfectly for basically every type of girl and I think every type of shape. Because of my shape, I can't wear mom jeans. They look weird and baggy and make me look bigger. I can't wear straight legs. I like either flare, like palazzo type uh, pants and jeans. A proper straight, like, or a proper skinny that's a bit high-waisted. Because anything that's low-rise is a recipe for disaster it either won't clean my whole butt or it won't fit me at all to begin with regardless of whether it's my actual size okay so that is that i'm done it's a saturday so i'll just be watching tv play with the kids um while i wait to be called because like i said i'm on call but People tend to not come to the hospital um, for some odd reason when it's cold so um, I do expect it to be a bit chilled to have a bit of a chilled call especially during days when it's actually really cold so the person that's working in labor ward hasn't called me yet for me to assist them in any c-sections or anything um, I also was only called in once in casualty this morning um, for now um, I'm actually just gonna just chill and watch TV or edit a video um, and yeah I spend time with my family so um, I don't know maybe I'll show you the rest of the call if it gets hectic yeah. 
I will catch you guys later. Hopefully, I don't get cold. <laughs> I hope I don't get cold. I'm not even trying to lie. Like, 